Hi everybody, welcome back to Horse. Today we're going to take a peek at the new edition of The Wandering Horses that, that begins today. The Wandering Horses is one of my least favorite events on the game, but I do quite like Arthur, the, the Grail Divine, that is offered from this event. I, I might try and get him, uh, I'm not sure. I really like his look and I do already have three Grails. And it would be really useful to get another grail because the more grails you have, then the less time it takes for you to complete the quest of the grail that you choose to complete. So let's go take a peek. If you're new to the Wandering Horses, I will talk about some important tips and actions that you need to keep in mind about what you need to do with your Wandering Horses to make the most use of, uh, of their energy and everything. So let's get started with the event instructions. I really don't like that... Over the last few events, we only get the first page available before the tutorial. If you want to read the rest of the instructions, you have to finish the tutorial, which I think is kind of silly because I don't know how many people are going to realize that and will actually go back. If this was all that I saw when I first started the event, I would not bother going back and reading the instructions because this doesn't really tell me much. It's usually... Well, the first page does sometimes tell you quite a bit, but I think usually the second page tells you more information. So if you want to read the rest of the instructions, you have to finish the tutorial first. Anyways, how do I play? Fill the gauge of each wandering horse by performing the requested action as many times as needed, or by giving them some clapperboards. Clapperboards are the wandering horse version of aging points for this particular uh, edition of the wandering horses. Host the horse at your breeding farm until the end of the event. Take care of your wandering horses and age them to get the ones that you need. So we get Emma telling us, welcome, you have the unique opportunity to host the Wandering Horse movie on your breeding farm for a limited time. I'm going to click to continue and each Wandering Horse asks you to, to accomplish an objective before they come to visit you. Let's see what Cartoon is asking you to do. For Cartoon, we have to give an apple to Owl's Divine Horse, Arthur. And again, I really, really like this horse. He is the typical chestnut that we see all the time now, but I really like the bald face marking that he has. He's got a little bit extra detail that many of the other divines don't seem to have. And I actually like the clothes that's on the Grail divines, probably because they just look like almost regular knight armor. So I like this quite a lot. I would like to get him. I already have three Grail divines and the more Grails that you have, then the less time it takes to complete the quest. So we get cartoon and the wandering horses stay on your farm until February 15th. I believe it's three days after the end of the contest. They don't stay permanently, not just for one day, but throughout the end of the event and then about three days after. And I got a cat companion for that. They're really, they really like giving us companions lately. Cartoon is almost done for today. Let's give him something to drink to boost his energy. And I do believe that giving your horses a drink, your wandering horses a drink, is one of the objectives for one of the wanderers. And we have to put him to bed. And you can aid your wandering horses without having to wait until the next day by giving them some clapperboards. That means you can care for them more often and progress faster in the game. Big tip here. This is probably the number one rule for this edition of the wanderers. You do have to use a clapperboard to get through the tutorial, but after you use this one single clapperboard, do not, I repeat, do not use any more of these clapperboards until you unlock the wanderer that does ask you to use clapperboards. If you use these beforehand to age up your wanderers, you're not going to get any points towards that wanderer. You only get points for them once they are unlocked and that one is not unlocked at the beginning. So we do have to use the one for the tutorial, but this this is it. And then you're just going to, I'm just going to sit on these until that other wanderer unlocks. Let's go back and see what the other wandering horses are asking you to do. All right. We do get quite a few unlocked at the start. Oh, also I do have to click this, which it just tells you I get three per day upon login. And then on day five, I'll get six. So there you go. And now we can go ahead and start. I don't, I don't like the gifts for this. The gifts are pretty poor and especially for the wandering horse event in general, because this is such a time consuming event. It takes time away from your regular, from working your regular horses. It's not so bad in the very beginning when you only have a couple that you have to work, but once you start getting 
Once you have several of them and you're training them every day, then you're going to have to be doing lessons. You're going to have to be doing competitions and you have to pay attention to your energy uses. That's why I don't like this event. It's too time consuming. It takes away from your regular horse's work. And in my opinion, the gifts are not worth it. Lots of fragment gifts, which for this, for this divine, I actually want the fragments. Um, but otherwise I just, there's really nothing here. Yeah, I, I don't really care for most of the gifts. So we've got Adventure is unlocked at the start. We have Sword and Sandal is unlocked at the start. Rom-com. And the other one is Adventure. So for Western, we can give our horses drinks today, which you want to do that anyway for the energy. This is where you find the objective that you have to do with your wandering horses. The objectives all pertain to your wanderers, except for a couple where you have to congratulate other players or something. But otherwise, when it says actions with horses, it's the wandering horses that you have. We get 15 points per action with this one, and it takes 100 points total. So it would just be 100 divided by 15, and then you know how many times you have to offer your wandering horses a drink. And then you'll know uh, when you'll be able to unlock it. Sword and sandal. I have to put my wanderers to bed. I get seven points for that. For rom-com, I have to equip my wanderer for the first time, which includes saddle, bridle, and saddle cloth. You don't get 25 points for the saddle, the bridle, and the cloth. You have to put them all together. So all three together, you'll get your 25 points. And then adventure, finish training a skill on a wandering horse, seven and a half points. Now the next one, superhero, he will unlock in 11 hours and 57 minutes from the time that I'm recording this. His objective is give my wandering horses carrots, 0. 0.6 points per action. So even though I think based on the schedule that I'm going to do, I will be giving my wanderers carrots, but I won't actually get points for that until he's unlocked in less than 12 hours. Sci-fi will unlock in one day and 11 hours, and he is the one that you have to age. Thankfully, I don't have to wait very long to age him. Or I don't have to wait very long to just sit on my clapperboards before I can start aging my wandering horses. I get one point per action for that. After sci-fi, we have musical. That's two days, 11 hours, and you have to congratulate players five points per action with that one. Then we have horror, which is three days and 11 hours. You have to do missions with your wandering horses, 1.8 point per action. Lesson will count too. It doesn't have to specifically be a mission. It can be a lesson. They're interchangeable for that. Fantasy is unlocked in four days and 11 hours. We have to donate horses to Ow, 15 points per action. I think that's about seven horses that you have to donate. So if you want to go ahead, breed up some horses, then you'll be able to have a couple junk horses you don't mind donating by the time this wanderer is unlocked. Crime, the last one, enter my wanderers into competitions, point 27 points per action. That's, that's going to be a lot of comps, but I suppose it's... I don't know, back in the old wandering horse events, when we did not have to do the objectives with our wanderers, we would we could do the objectives with our regular horses. Uh, a lot of players had to enter 1000 comps in order to complete this one, which isn't that bad, really, because, you know, you have tons of horses. If you have tons of horses, then that makes it a little bit easier as opposed to just with the wanderers and you only have a few to work with. And then the very last is this guy, Director, which is the Community Wandering Horse Co. This has probably been added to the collections, by the way. So because the, which one's the mission and the competition wander, was this the mission? Okay, this one's so horror. This means that we do not want to do any missions or lessons with our wanderers until horror is unlocked. Otherwise, you're just wasting energy on them. Same for crime, the competition wanderer. Do not enter any competitions with your wanderers until crime is unlocked. Otherwise, you're wasting energy. Now, I think what I want to do is start out with cartoon. Here is your next important tip. For all of your wanderers, you want to board them in an equestrian center with a water trough and a shower because the water trough means that you'll get extra energy. You'll get more than the usual. I think it's 4% energy boost when you give your horses a drink. And with the shower, it will take less energy uh, per actions with your horses. So that will definitely come in handy later as well. So make sure you do that. And you can also, of course, enter in an EC that already offers carrots. Um, I just have my own, so I'm not going to be particular about that. And I'm just going to board for 10 days for now. I don't really want to spend 
all this much on 30 days. I wish I had started this event a little bit earlier because now uh, all of the cheaper ECs have been already boarded into. And I could board into my own equestrian center, but I am unfortunately out of boxes for myself. So I will board into this one just for 10 days. And then if I have to reboard them for just a couple extra days, I can do that. It's not really a big deal. So there we go with this one. And we did get my login clapperboard. So I'm going to just put them to bed at the start. Doesn't really hurt anything. And I'm also going to open up the wanderers again, just to recall which ones I have unlocked and I can do training. I can do drink. I can do put to bed. I can do, okay. Equip with the, I can equip him today. I can equip him today, but I'm not going to actually enter in any competitions. And I use my own tack for this because you're not, the horse is not going to be boarded for very long. And I don't want to use the equestrian centers tack that I boarded in. Although I don't think mine, the one I boarded in isn't offering any tack anyway. But all right, he's all tacked up. We're ready to go. Now I have to wait for this to load because unfortunately I decided to record this at the uh, about seven past the hour, which is always when the lag hits. If anybody is wondering when to avoid the lag, I noticed on international at least it really hits at about seven minutes past the hour and then it's gone within a couple of minutes. So now what you want to do for training, start out with dressage because dressage always takes the least amount of energy. And then I think once dressage is finished, I believe gallop, trot, and jump usually take about the same amount. Do not do speed because this will take up more energy. Same applies to stamina, even though it indicates that speed is, even though it indicates that speed is one of his top skills, don't do speed because really you don't have to train in any particular order for it to count, right? It just counts whatever training that you do. Now, there is a caveat for the speed, and that is if you have the one Rainbow Divine whose perk will half training speed. What is it? I have to I have to look here because I can never remember which. Okay, so if you have shiny yellow energy consumption when training your horse's speed on Wednesdays is halved, and that will actually speed up your time if you're still having to do training with your wanderers next week because unfortunately the event started the day after that perk is active which isn't very helpful is it so with your dressage I think two and a half to if I do two hours that will take up 18 percent energy so I'm going to do two hours and then I want to do I want to feed first or give a carrot if I give a carrot that'll give me eight energy so I don't want to do that just yet I will feed him now, I think about 14, I might be overfeeding him, but this will give get him up to 100% energy, which is the, the big thing. Because recall that whenever you feed your horse, when he has, when he already has high energy, the more energy you get from feeding him. When you feed your horse when it has low energy, such as 0%, you're barely going to get any energy boost when you feed him. So I've done that, now I'm going to train 11 hours, I think, would be too much. So I'm going to do 10. Now, because the wanderer, does the, is the carrot wanderer unlocked yet? The carrot wanderer is not unlocked, but just to get in the habit of giving your horses carrots, I'll do a carrot today. Now, I want to put him to bed by 2200 just to ensure he wakes up tomorrow with optimum energy and everything. So I'm just going to do drink and carrot. I don't want to stroke him because otherwise we'll go past 2200. And I don't need to do that because look, he still has 29% energy left. So instead of wasting time doing a stroke, I'm just going to do another half hour of dressage training. And there we go. I have him put to bed by 2200 and he's over 20% energy. So he's at the optimum frame. He's at the optimum state of mind to wake up tomorrow in perfectly good order. And I got quite a bit of dressage training done today. And I'm left with six clapperboards for the day. That's it. That's all I want to do. Now, I did get very lucky today, and I was visited by Typhon, a community wandering horse. And I know in past wandering horse events, the community wanderers would count towards, um, towards the current wandering horse event. So just to check on this, he, Western, is at 30 points. So if I give Typhon a drink, I should get points for that, 15 points for that. And then he's already tacked up. So unfortunately I can't do, I can't get any points from tacking up. And of course I can't get points from entering competitions or from doing lessons with them because 
I don't have that wonder unlocked yet. Same with the carrots. He came at the worst possible time. It would have been better if he had come later in the event. I can't even train him. Now, if this were rides, you could do rides, even though his rides are finished, but I can't do training. So that's kind of a bust for me, but it does give me, you know, an extra 15 point boost. Oh, and I do get points for putting my wanderer to bed, which is, isn't there, isn't there a wanderer for this? Okay. So I said, should get points for that one too. Sword and sandal and Western. So put to bed, give him a drink. I'm not going to bother. I don't actually ever take care of the community wandering horses when I have them. Um, if I didn't have my own divines, I would enter into competitions because, you know, divine comps have really high kitty, but I don't, I already have tons of divines that I can work. So I never take care of these when I have them, but let's refresh the page and yep, the community wanderers do still count, which is nice. Again, I think this is super, I got super unlucky that it didn't come later in the event when I could have taken advantage of the, the lessons, the carrots the competitions but oh well it was still a boost for the wanderers that I do have unlocked currently anything is better than nothing so I think that's it for the wanderers oh let's see what the rest of the event instructions have to say see now we can access the rest of them okay so here on page two it tells you how you can get the clapper boards which I really think this information should be available right from the start you can obtain them upon login three per day thanks to your loyalty okay I guess that does say that in that one link the pop-up that you can click but still I think this should be available right from the start sometimes when wandering horses you are taking care of wake up that was not indicated on that pop-up this should be you know you should be made aware of this right from the start and you can buy them with passes the jackpot is the director coat and you get that one when you collect all of the other wandering horses and you can give the community wandering horse director's coat to one of your horses once you get it. And then, of course, you have Arthur throughout the contest. You can find fragments of divine horse Arthur in the crowns. Don't we all love the crowns? To win more fragments, you get fragments in the prizes of certain wandering horses and your daily objectives. So there you go. That is all of the information for the wandering horses. I'm going to wait until later in the event to open up crowns for Arthur. I think I have four in my... Oh, I forgot. It doesn't tell you. So, by the way, spoiler alert for those of you who are not on pre-prod or if you're not on the, in the spoiler form, in the probably next development update which would be in February if not February definitely March for sure we will finally on the black market item pages get the return of the number of items that you have in inventory and on pre-prod right now it's shown in this area right here underneath the the name of the item hopefully they'll move it somewhere else because we've where they've put it it's not quite easily seen and the text is really tiny, but that is getting put there. So now when I go on to a page, I can see how many I have and I don't have to look in the black market page. That'll be quite nice. So there we go. That is it for, for the Wandering Horse event. If anybody has any questions, please let me know. Also, I do recommend going into your server's events forum topic to see if anybody has posted schedules on there. I know on international, um, we have players that are posting schedules and daily updates or recaps or suggestions schedules uh, that you can follow to make the most use of your wandering horse's energy. So thank you all so much for joining me today and I hope to talk to you soon. Bye.